We investigate the most extraordinary event of the 20th century. That's one small step for man. Man landing on the moon. One giant leap for mankind. But believe it or not, some people say it never happened. This whole thing was a fake. Decide for yourself as we explore the evidence. The angle has landed. Analyze official government photos. What a ride, what a ride. Examine the films. The flag flaps on the moon where there's no atmosphere. And hear the testimony of one former astronaut who's not afraid to speak his mind. NASA could have covered it up. Could the government have orchestrated the deception of the century? NASA could have pulled off the greatest hoax of all time. You be the judge on conspiracy theory. Did we land on the moon? Can I just pick some? Yes, you can, but you should be prepared. Why me? Oh, she wasn't here yesterday, but you know what, that's she's, not... No, she's but got I, all her I, stuff. Uh... Yeah, she was here yesterday. Remember, she left with you and went to see Miss Lily. You should have all your stuff in front of you so that you're prepared. Okay. All right. If Rich decides to be mean and pick on you, you are going to get a zero on this if you only say, I don't know. No, I know. That's a zero. It's out of 50 points. So... Wait, I get 50 for doing this, right? Yeah, yeah. So Rich, Rich you know, these guys got a name right now. Because what be they first. can do is they can pick anyone in here and ask you. It's very simple. All he has to read is right here. Did NASA send men to the moon? All right? Don't be upset if I interrupt you a little bit. No, just I might I might ask a second or third question. Okay. All right. This is, this is your class. This is your monopoly game. All right. <laughs> Let's start with Marissa. Marissa, do you believe that? What are your opinions? Did NASA send men to the moon? Yeah. Okay, how do you know? Um, because they have pictures and videos. Of them on the moon. That shows. Them on the moon. Okay. Does anybody else? Well, I, I, I know. Okay, I just, I to... Jessica, why? What's okay. your... Uh, because um, the pictures are like messed up with the crosshairs and stuff, and the videos are grainy. They're grainy? Yes. So that's your evidence? Yes, Is there is. anyone that could test that idea? With the videos? Is anyone could test the, how the pictures were messed up? Yeah. Well, here we go right here. This is she's saying the pictures were messed up. So she there's has some, a... <laughs> there's some crosshairs. Like they said um, in one video that if you took the picture with the crosshairs on something white, that they wouldn't even show up at all. So you have to test and see if... Take pictures of white, something white, and something colorful, and see if the crosshair shows up on front or behind it. All right. So ask her what her opinion is. So, Becca, what's your opinion then? I Did, don't think they landed on them. So you <laughs> don't think? And what reason? No. Because they would have died from radiation. So radiation, is there anyone that had any experiments or can think of a way to test radiation like this? <coughs> Subi, how could you test whether radiation is poisonous or not? Um, I test it on rats. Well, there you go, right over here. Like a rat? <laughs> Ex explain to me how you can test radiation levels and whether they're lethal or not. Well, you put a certain amount of radiation in like a chamber and put a rat in it and see if it dies? No. One of the things in the video was talking about how the levels of radiation, um, they were only protected by a suit. So how could you test how to protect rats from radiation? You could, uh, like, figure out the material that was on the suit and surround it and then put that into, like, a, a sealed container and put radiation in there. All right, so do you believe that NASA sent men to the moon? No. Why? What's your, what's your reason? Because I think they would have died, and there's too much evidence that's not... Well, from what? You've got reasons right here. They would have died from radiation. Uh, the pictures yeah. are all messed up. Uh, there's no stars in the background. All the scenes look the same. The speed's messed Give up. Give me one that we haven't heard so far. Oh, the speed. Uh, what about the speed? Uh, it looks like... Because on the moon, it would be like one-sixth of the speed. And uh, in the film that we saw, it looks Who like one half. Who thinks they could test this, the film speed? Nobody here knows how to test the film speed. Uh, you have a camera, and you want to know if you test the speed of the film to see what it would look like at half speed. Can you slow it down? <laughs> what would you do? We got a video camera right here. What would you do? Well, you could record like somebody walking. And then you can speed it up to show them running, and then have that as the normal speed. 
then you could slow it back down again to show it walking again, so you could prove that it could be sped up or slowed down, depending on how you want them to look. All right. Good. Sophia, so what's your uh, opinion on... They didn't go. Why? What's your reasoning? Because how is the flag waving if there's no air? Um, so that's your evidence, that the flag, that's your reasoning? Yeah. Okay, does anybody have evidence to go against that? Well, I do. <coughs> Sylvia. I mean, just the flag wasn't like starched or anything, was it? So, like, like, like of course, if you're going to move an object, of course, it's going to move a little bit, you know? Like, there's, you saw that pressure, so. So what type of experiment? What type um, of experiment could you Well, do? for example, you could take, like you said, you have that thing that you could, like, take all the air. I, what, I don't know. A vacuum. Okay. And you take out all the air, so it's like it has no atmosphere. And, I don't know, try. Having it shake? Mm -hmm. Does Subi, did you have something on that? Or you, yeah. you had something to add? Yeah. Okay. Um, I put that like if you put the flag in like somewhere there where there's no friction, it's gonna keep going from when they unraveled it. Well, what would you do? So you just like put a little flag in the vacuum. In the vacuum, in, the, the, in the vacuum jar. Yeah. And then what would you do to move the flag? I don't know. I bet NASA has like a better vacuum. Well, we do it in this classroom. We do it in this classroom. What? With your experiment, what variables are measurable? Motions and vibrations. All right, how would you create motion on that? You could, like, shake it. With your hands? Yeah. And how could you measure the amount of motion you put into it? How many... A ruler? What would you use? How many shakes you do? And what would you be checking out? What would you try to determine? Whether the flag vibrates. The amount of vibrations. All right, so, Rich, did you ask uh, Subi? Yeah, Subi, so what's your opinion on the space... Um, Flight. I think they went. What's your reasoning? Um, because they're, the stars weren't there because it, it was faint, because it was night, I guess, and they gave them special suits, and I don't think that NASA would go that far just to fool the people. All right, so who, who has that with the stars? <laughs> Anyone have an experiment right here? Oh. All right, my experiment is to uh, take a picture of the night sky with a flash and thought of flash on a camera, and then with an object in the picture to focus on, and then with an, an object in the picture to focus on. Just like the example that we met on the moon, they said that uh, when it was focused on the moon, you couldn't see the stars in the background because they weren't appearing. Uh, I think that this would be great because if you see any of the stars in any of the pictures, then it proves NASA false. So you're saying that the stars you can see on the moon when you're in space on the moon. So if you're not able to see space, or if you're not able to see the stars from being on the moon, and you can see them while you're on Earth, then that disproves them. So what's your opinion, Cody? My opinion is that we didn't go to the moon. And your evidence back that is that there's no stars in any of the pictures that they sent back from the moon. Does anyone have a counter to that? We had one over here. Tomasa, how you did? No, nothing about the stars. Who's Matt? Daisy did, I think. No. Daisy, do you, do you think we went to the moon, Daisy? No, I don't think we did. What's your reasoning? Because in like some of the videos and the pictures, there was too much light, and like the and like the shadows didn't like they didn't match up with the stuff on like the objects, so it meant there was more lighting than just the sun. Can you test that? Um, I don't know. I guess you can like. No, I don't know. I don't know what experiment. See the shadows point and then try a double light face and see if the shadows go different ways. <laughs> That's what I got. Maybe use reflective surfaces to mm -hmm. see if the reflective signal, if you have one light source, use well, reflective the, surfaces. Just the, the rocks going in different directions. It doesn't even have to be reflective. It's just two different there angles. Is. So who's talking about you? We have your opinion. Let's go back to Becca. Your opinion too. <laughs> Let's go to Angela. How about Angela? She looks like she's a <laughs> Angela, so what's your opinion on the space shuttle? Do you um, think they went? No. No, you don't? What's your reasoning? Because um, science is normally repeatable, and nobody else has tried to go to the moon, even Russia, that's been so desperate to win the space race. Okay, so I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, nobody, can anybody counter that? or? I mean, it's hard evidence, right? So I just can't really counter it. But is there any experiment you could do, or is it just that? I guess. Do you have any other reason why you believe that um, they didn't go? What was the other one? That the background over the pictures are the same, 
even though it says different times a day. It's like almost like when you see the cartoon of like the road runner, it's the same thing over and over again. That's how the pictures are. Okay, can anybody <coughs> She was talking about the backgrounds being identical in the images. Is there anyone that could create a test to see uh, how backgrounds might be replicated? I'm not sure I mean, what yeah, that so of course they're gonna um of course they're not gonna have the same background on every picture because I know that people would notice that's obvious. Why would they do that anyway? And I don't understand. Like they're really intellectual people, like why would they do something stupid like that? Did we ever talk about how if you go to the mountains and take pictures and the mountains are in the background, even though you can go from different areas, you could get the same mountains in the background? And the thing about foreground and background and how close an object is? Well I can see that. How would you? How could you test that? Well, I mean, you could make like a, I guess like a miniature, maybe like a, I don't want to say a dirt mound, but something like that, and you could take pictures from different angles and see if they line up like that, because then that would prove that you know, around the, a mountain or something like that, it could be the same. Sure. All right, we got these guys over here. Let's go to Jesse. <coughs> you look like you're thinking, Jesse. So, what's your opinion on the? Do you think they went? Do you think they didn't? What's I, that? I don't think they did. Went Why? What's your uh, evidence? Uh, because the, when they were taken off, there wasn't like the dust going everywhere. Okay. Do you have an experiment that you could do to prove that? Uh, shoot some air at a dust, see if it goes without seeing flame. Okay. So Jesse's saying that there was no um, explosion in the ground. Does anybody have a, a counter attack to this point? No. Yeah. Uh, but like, well, I got an experiment. An experiment yeah. you can do is like, get like some dirt and get like a blower, like a leaf blower, and then get a small pile and a big pile, and then blow the dust. Like how long it took them to land on the moon, and then you can test to see like if the foot footprints as clearly as they was mm -hmm. in the pictures. But what's so? What's your opinion on it? Do you think they went? I don't think we went. You don't. No. And what other evidence do you have to prove that? Uh, the shadows and like the radiation. I don't think that you can make any special suits to, you know, protect them from the radiation that they would have to go through. Well, we didn't talk about shadows yet. So, what, what do you think about the shadows? They, uh, the shadows like don't match up. I don't think shadows would have been that clear to see. Like the differences between them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Truska, what's up with you? You think they went? You think they didn't? No, I don't think they went because the pictures were too perfect. The too photographs perfect. were too perfect. Like the, um, the video film was all grainy, and the pictures are just absolutely perfect. Okay. So, so you could do an experiment like if you take one of the old <coughs> cameras like they, they right. use, and then take a picture and see if they match up. So it's your experiment point. would be compare a regular picture to one of a picture with your own camera, and see if they look the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else have a experiment maybe to go against that? You was talking about the videos being grainy. And the pictures were real clear. Um, I actually, like on my digital camera, I actually tried something. And like if you record a video, it's all like dotty. But then if you actually use a flash, it's like clear. That's how it turns out on my camera. So I don't know, maybe. Maybe you yeah, could use different lighting sources yeah. when you take the videos. Mm -hmm. You still don't see how the pictures could be so perfect if they were taken on their chest right here. How could you get per picture perfect the picture, seriously, from right here? So. I mean, they proved, they proved that it was too hard to take a picture that nice from there. Let's ask Sandoval over here. Jessica. She's, she what? says that if you hold a camera around your stomach and they're just taking pictures, that you won't be able to take good quality pictures because you'd have no perspective to use. Is there a way to test whether or not you could take quality pictures by having a camera? Uh, instead of looking through it, just having it around. I don't know if there's a way to test it, but I was just saying, like, didn't they design special cameras so they could take good pictures from their stomachs? Well, you see, if you had a camera, could you take pictures by holding it in the same place that they had it and yeah, seeing what quality? Uh, it's not going to be the special ones that they had. Well, I'm just saying, if it's a camera. Generalized, just yeah, generalized. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. We have digital now. Back then, they didn't even know what So could was. we, do you know, could we design an experiment to test that idea whether or not we could take good quality photos without using the eye piece? Yeah. I don't know. 
They said they took like thousands of pictures. Right? Yeah, so, some of so, them so they kept the best ones, right? Yeah, but those when, are still too perfect, even if they were out of a thousand pictures. Today, the nicest thing is digital photos. If you go and take a lot of photos, what do you do with the bad ones? Delete them. And then you're left with what? Good photos. Okay. We still have our green. Let's go to you. So, um, what's your opinion? Do you think that we went or we didn't? I think that we went. Okay, so what's your reasoning or evidence or what well, What are you thinking okay. about that? Well, because if you look at the videos and um, examine the videos, uh -huh. um, the dust doesn't look anything like the dust on Earth because it falls a lot faster because it's in a vacuum. Okay, so do you have an experiment that you created for that to prove that or no? No? Okay, so she's talking about the dust that it's different than on the moon than it is on Earth. Does anybody have something to go against that? We still have a couple of people. Jessica, what do you what do you think? Maybe we could try putting dust in like a vacuum and then see like how fast okay. it would fall. So that would be your experiment to go against Irene. Um, or to what? What you, what, what's your opinion? What are you trying to, to do? To go for it. To go for it. Yeah. So you think that they did go to the moon? Yeah. Okay. I think. Um, do you have any other evidence oh, besides the dust? Yeah. They said that some of the materials found on the moon were found on places on Earth, like in the desert, like Nevada, I think. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, there's where. rocks from Hawaii. Yeah, exactly. rocks from Hawaii. So it's it's been proven that there is some rocks or dust from Earth that was on the moon, too. So I don't understand how they proved this from Okay. So Becca's saying that they have hardcore evidence that there is rocks and dust from the moon on Earth. What does anybody think about that? The uh, moon came from the Earth. The impact theory. So, yeah. are you trying to say like maybe it would be the same thing? Yeah. So then, like, you can't really prove it's from a different place if it's from the same mm -hmm. origin, right? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to get? Yeah. 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 Well, any other thoughts? Uh, yeah. Push. Uh, push. Then the rock, they can get the rock and like dust like from anywhere. Don't that's just because they say it come from the moon don't mean it is. They can get rocks and dust from anywhere. Right. They can grab some on Earth and just say that they got so, on the moon. So, like, if they can fake a space shuttle mission, why can't they fake it and just say it's right? So, you can say? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a good point. Anybody else? <laughs> okay, so what's your opinion? I don't think we went to the moon because um, NASA said they won't go back today, but how would they have the technology, like, 50 years ago? But they can't go back today. Wouldn't the technology be better? Good point. Um... What's your, do I have any more evidence for that, or just? Uh, no. No? Okay, so you're saying that there's not enough technology today? To yeah, open but back then they had the right technology. Okay. Does anyone, you're saying that we don't have the technology to go to the moon today? No, but we did back then. Is there anyone that has a, a dispute to his comment that, that today, we, we, I mean, I know we don't, but is there anyone that has a dispute as to whether or not we could go to the moon today if we wanted to? We could. We just got this summer, like, the satellite, and they brought an astronaut up there to fix that. So if they can leave people in space for days to fix the International Space Station, they should have no problem going to the moon. It's just, I don't know if they went there the first time or not. Yeah. Right on. Like killer team over here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so who do we got going? Why do you want to go to the moon? Paul, Paul, how? Oh, right, wait, no, this is a very good point. This is a very good point. Let's go to Jessica. So what's up, what were, you, what were you just saying? I just said, why would you even want to go there? Because what is so special about going to the moon so much? To prove that you can actually do it, because people think that it's a hoax, so why don't you just why go back to prove that we actually did go there, instead of having people go back and forth for human trying interest. to figure it out. That's the question you make, waste money on human interest. We already wasted the money going there the first time. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, uh, let's listen over here. So what was that last comment? What were you saying? Well, I predicted there's so many people that don't believe we didn't go there, then why don't just go there again to prove that we actually went there? Yeah, but <clears throat> you could also... Especially because the technology today it wouldn't be as much as it was back then. It's cheap today, so you're telling us right now the technology today is more affordable and it also will say that the technology, it must be better, right? It must be better technology and more affordable than back in the 60s and 70s. So it should be easier to go today. It's but better. It's counting on inflation. Right here. Technology, I say, is better, but it's going to be more. It's going to 
it's not gonna be less affordable because like, you know what I'm saying? Cause the technology in the old days was cheaper and so today it's gonna be better technology but more affordable. You you think it's it's higher, uh, it's it's better technology, just like a car today is more expensive because a car today is a precision instrument. Yeah, where before it was a bunch of nuts and bolts all tied together that rolled down a hill. Uh, anyone any right here. Yeah, but I mean, like, even if they do go again, it wouldn't be that much of a difference because there's still going to be people saying that they didn't go. It would be it even easier to fake today. Yeah, That's what Subi saying. It wouldn't be, like... Right? Like, they couldn't prove it still because well, if you take it, unless you take everybody on the whole, in the whole world up there with you, you can't prove it to everybody. It's Subi saying that with today's media technology, IMAX videos high-definition televisions with uh, satellite imagery that it would be easier to fake today than it was back then. Anyone, yeah? Come on, they just use like the exact same like suits that they use, like replica everything, and then add like upgraded they, technology. The suits are kind of similar, aren't they? Have you ever seen the images of the International Space Station when they're out? No. No. Mm -hmm. no, no. I've seen movies, though. Movies are fake. Right? Movies are fake. Like, Missions of Mars. Like, <laughs> hey, but like what Subi said, like no matter like you know, no matter if you go, if people still gonna have their own opinion. You can't make people believe, you know, if you win or not, they gonna have their own opinion. Well, well how could yeah, how could you? Sorry, but people have their own opinions about everything. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's debatable. But I think the difference between them going back then and them going now is that maybe the evidence they brought back from this trip won't be so controversial and it would maybe prove a hardcore point that wasn't so debatable in the 1960s uh, mission. Now Rich says, this is important, Rich says that the evidence that they would have if they went today and did everything they did, that the evidence they had today would be different than the evidence they had back in the 60s and 70s. Saying if they really did go. Even if they really did go. Does everyone agree with that Rich's point? That they would have better evidence today? Yeah? Well, no, I was just to me, I would think everything would have to be the same. All right? The flag should still wave. The moon lander should still not have a crater. The sound should still be muffled from no atmosphere. The rocks would still be the same. To me, everything, although we have better technology, would have to be exactly the same because the moon hasn't changed. But it so depends on what point you're coming at. Huh? Wouldn't they be able to just make it the same way then if everything was that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. He's saying that it would be more convincing now. Well, it depends on what the like, videos would still be at the though. same speed, right? You can't change the speed of a lunar lander on the moon if that's one-sixth of gravity. It would still spew dust the same. How many people think that Rich, like Rich says, that if they went today, it would be more convincing? Well, <clears throat> if we went today and it would be more convincing, that's to say that the original moon landing was fake. Yes. But if we went today and the evidence would be the same as it was before, that's to say that the moon landing was, um, it happened. So, so it depends on what side of the opinion you're on. So we're talking, we're saying if we went today and everything was the same, how would that change how you feel about the flag waving and the moon landing not having a crater and the footprint with the dust and everything you saw? If they went today and everything was the same as it was in the 60s and the 70s, what would your opinion be if you saw it, Rebecca? You don't know? Would you believe it, or would you think it was just another hoax? <laughs> it, now, now, it's very important. Bush, President Bush, had a decision that he wanted to send people back to the moon. If you turn on the TV, you, you see the shuttle launches, right? If you turn on the TV and saw it on TV today, people on the moon, and they said this was live footage, how many people here would believe it? because they saw it on TV tomorrow Depends or this weekend. Was I'm just wondering, if you saw it, you turned on the TV and it was on the news next month that they were actually there, raise your hand. How many people would believe that it was true because they saw the news today? I probably would. If, how many people would still, if everything was the same as the 60s and 70s, would still think it was fake even if they saw it on the news in a month from today? Say they launched the shuttle today, and then a month later they said, let's here's it, pictures. Well, let's ask Cody real quick. No, the video would be high definition video. I want to ask Cody real quick why he needs it. All right, go ahead. It looks like he's, he's got some good ideas. Uh, because a lot of things on the news have been faked in the past, so why couldn't this just be another faking? A lot of things in the media aren't proven true. 
And in the past, if they had, if they didn't have enough evidence to support the fact that they did go to the moon, what evidence could they bring right now to show that they did go to the moon? Like, so you don't think that they could come back with like some, some real good evidence that like they'd just be coming back with more space rocks that they came with last time. It'd be so. the same thing that you can go over to the Adler. I could go pick up space rocks at the Adler and say, look, I just went to the moon. But do you, but do you think that the uh, evidence would be the same or different? I think that the evidence should be the same if they do go back to the moon. So if you're saying that you don't, so you don't believe they went at all, right? Right. So you're saying that if they went again and they brought evidence back, that it should be the same because they're faking it again. Right. Right. So you don't if think it's do, different. Then so even today, you don't think we can go back at all. Lose, lose situation. Right. Well, yeah. who, what could change those people that don't believe? Nothing. What could possibly change your mind? Everyone, take a think. We got one over here, but think about for a second. What could possibly change your mind? Nothing could. Change yeah, you go. Um, you actually go. We'll start. Another country where, like, I don't believe USA. You don't believe America because they lie. But if Canada wins, because they're so notorious for the truthfulness. They're reputable people. <laughs> like, come like, on. I say, like, if they if they go again, you know, like, why would they lie? Because it's it's better like technology, but it's gonna cost more money. So why would you lie now? Why would they try to lie and spend all that money? To try to go back to the moon and lie all about it. Because the country already like in debt, so why would we want to get more in debt? Yeah, all right. That doesn't make sense. That's money for the war. What do we have over here, Jessica? We have, Jessica has a nice opinion. What? What do we. Who's Jessica? What were you saying? Um, Jesse was actually talking to me about something. And what was he talking to you about, Jessica? He was telling me about um, how he thinks that. Uh, what were you saying again, Jesse? So what do you think, Jessica? Do you think that if we came back with some evidence, what do you think? Would it, would it change your mind? What kind of evidence? Well, for, first, what are you for or against it? Against. You're against it. Okay. So you don't think that if we came back with some moon rocks and some pictures and some, some other good stuff, you Didn't still they would do think that it was before, though? Like, would the pictures be different? Would they have the same well, backgrounds and stuff? If they were different, what would you think? I don't know. I'd have to see the pictures. Well, hypothetically speaking, pretend this is it. Okay. All right, so say this picture was different and inconsistent with the picture from 1960. What would be your opinion then? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I would be confused about it. What did I say? He knows something, though. I think all the evidence you would need is the money that they would spend. Because like, they would spend more money now than they did back then. So I think all the evidence that can change people's mind is the money that they spend. Because the country, like, we're already in debt. So why would we pay more money to pay going to the moon again? To get more debt. All right, and we're going to go around once. There's 13 accusations here. If I could prove any one of those accusations in this classroom, pick one that might change your mind if I was to prove that it could have happened, that, that Fox was wrong, Fox Media was wrong, that the conspiracy, one of those 13, you can pick any one you want, but challenge me to prove one of those 13 wrong in this classroom, if it would change your mind. We're gonna ask, we're gonna start with Bush, we're gonna go around, and everyone pick one of those that you think I couldn't prove Fox Media wrong with. Uh, seeing the footprints. The footprints? Through the dust, so accurate. All right. Flag waving. The flag waving. Stars in the background. Stars in the background. Are the shadows not matching with the object? The unparalleled shadows or standing in the shadows? <coughs> there were two different things with shadows. One of them was that the shadows didn't line up. Yeah, that Parallel. Was it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The radiation. Radiation. The crosshairs in the pictures. The sound, the, the bad sound. Um, the footprints, the uh, dust. The radiation. The blast crater. <laughs> the flag wave. The double light sources. The radiation. The what? Speed of the astronauts. Oh, okay. Um, the radiation. The blast crater. Uh, the radiation, the flag moving. Now, did people pick the radiation because they want to see me die in an overdose of radiation or something? <laughs>